Hey, hey. Spring Lafay Simplitera. Okay, this is going to be for the element of earth. So, if you have the element of earth in your birth chart, this could be a reading for you. That is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be asking some questions. First off, I'm going to ask, what does your head want? Second question, what does your heart want? Third question, what does your soul want? I feel like this can help clarify things. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your head want? What does your brain want? What does your mind want? What does your head want? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your head want? Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your heart want? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your heart want? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your heart want? Look there. Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your soul want? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does your soul want? Okay, what I feel is, I feel like that with this Queen of Cups, your head, what your head wants is, what's in that cup right there? It's like you want love, you want love, but you, you have to open up the cup. You know, it's like, um, you want love and you're not giving, you're not, you're not giving to it. It's like you know what you want and you want it and you're holding on to it you're not you're not giving it so you know you're in your mind you want to have that special person but it's like your cups closed so you're not completely open to that um, your heart your heart wants you know a new beginning, a prosperous new beginning, something different, something um, where you don't have to worry, something where without struggle. Um, you know, this isn't emotion, though. This isn't, um, yeah, this is um, tangible. You know, your heart is, it's like your heart is telling you, well, that it wants something that um, is, you know, non-worry, Abundant all the way around. Now your soul, I feel like, is is wanting you to, um, with the emperor being here, is wanting you to to really come into your own, really um, take hold of who you are. I feel like for some of you, you need to to find out about you need to trace your roots back. There's something about that. That's for some of you. You know, I feel like your soul wants you to be who you were meant to be. And it feels like that was a leader, you know. Um, could be a teacher. But someone who um, could be a healer. 
but it's someone who leads, someone who can, you know, lead others, can um, take things further, can guide people, guide others. Guide the group. Lead lead a group. Be the leader. Standing strong. It's almost a feeling like um, that cup's closed on purpose. It's almost like um, giving up love to have tangible. It's like someone is they close that cup to having that special love in their life because they want to concentrate on having, you know, tangible stuff, um, material, materialistic, you know. But your soul wants you to lead, wants you to stand up, wants you to be who you were meant to be. Whether that is alone or with someone else. That's what I'm getting from that. Okay. Oh, you got two. You got chaos and conflict and truth be told. So there's a truth that's not being told. Um, chaos and conflict. That feels like... Okay. By the truth not being told, it's almost like avoiding chaos and conflict. It's like somebody, if they tell their truth and they be who they want to be, it causes chaos and conflict. And that's a 33. Yep, that's what that feels like. Uh, so it's, it's almost like they wear this mask. They wear this mask so no one knows what they truly feel, what they truly want. That's what that feels like. That's exactly what this is. Oh my goodness. Someone's wearing a, 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 a mask so that they have what they want. And to avoid chaos and conflict. They can't stand chaos and conflict. And they'll give up what they truly want to have that peace. And um, with their... Whoever, you know what I'm saying? That It's that type of feeling. Okay, you got three of these. Page of Feathers, Exploration, Discovery. It's time to explore. It's time to discover. It's time to discover who you are. Um, and, and part of that is spiritually, you know. Um, playfulness and bliss. It's time to be playful. Feel, feel that moment of bliss, you know. Uh, capture it. Feel it. Live it. Collaboration and productivity. Time to get busy. Time to be a busy, busy bee. So that's what I have for you. I hope that helps some. Uh, let me know how you like this layout. And uh, until next time. Bye.